1400 meters, runners sent on their way from the 1400 Drury Lane as one of the trailers early on. Along the inside, Polly Power, Princess Verunia goes off to lead them. Winter Rose with the white blinkers now moves up into second and then Topaz Rain. Labelia scored very wide in the early stages, so is Bella Vita. Along the inside of that one, Lady of Class is near the rail. They are followed by Super Suto, who starts to improve position. And then comes Villa Floriana. It's about seven lengths off the leader. And then Drury Lane, exalted as one of the trailers with Goodnight Seattle. Princess Verunia just the leader, but Super Suto goes off now to lead it. And then we followed then by Winter Rose. Winter Rose is about two and a half lengths off the leader. Super Suto is rather wide. They are followed further back by Polly Power near the rail, the red cap. On the outside, Bella Vita. Topaz Rain got about six lengths to make up. Lady of Class further back in the running. The Belia's got about eight lengths to make up. Top of the lane, Super Suit is the leader. Towards the inside, Princess Verunia and Polly Powers with the red cap, Topaz Rain. Winter Rose is under pressure and running on Labelia from nowhere. Labelia is running on at Super Suitor. Princess Verunia is running on and Topaz Rain's also getting into the race. Labelia on the outside, those coming home the best of all. And Labelia has got up to win it. Second, Princess Verunia, then came Super Suitor and Topaz Rain. Winner number nine, Lobelia, the lion tamer, the first timer from Roger Stud, Lizanne Forbes, Alec Forbes. Take a look at this replay and see how the source takes off. Uh, still very green, will prefer more ground, was called wide out from that draw, but wins a good contest. Could always see over the last hundred he was going to be the one to beat. 11, Princess Verunia will run into second, Super Suter runs third, Topaz Rain will take the fourth position. Further back is Polly Power, that's number 10. Then came Drury Rain, Exalted, followed by Lady of Class, and then came Goodnight Seattle, Villa Floriana, Bella Vita. So the winner's on the extreme right-hand side with the orange sleeves, and that's Labelia, and it really starts to catch the eye. Topaz Rain, Super Suter, and Princess Faruna, but Labelia, number 9 on the program, Takes off in the latter stages. Just one or two reminders just to get his mind on the job. He's obviously still learning about the game. But number nine is victorious. It went off at 8.30 a win and 2.50 a plays. The joke favourite ended up number seven, Winter Rose. Until the running of the third race. Back to the studio. Labelia, the daughter of Lion Tamer, has found a good finish coming to the last 300 meters. A nice scopy individual. Lovely look at this. Yeah, Sheldon, she's really a lovely filly. Very tall, very leggy. Um, she's uh, taken a lot of time, and I want to thank um, the owners, you know, for for their patience. They're new owners, so they still have to learn what it means to be patient. Um, from early on, I sort of likened her to them to try and explain to them that this is a bit like run, run, or run, where if you just give her the time, wait for her to mature and that, you know, she, she'll be a very nice filly. Um, in saying that, I didn't think that, you know, she would necessarily win first time out, especially over such a short trip, but the fact that she did, I think, just shows how good she really is. Well done on this victory, and they got a runner coming up later in the day, so they'll be all puffed up now? Yes, they've got another one later on. Sergeant Tibbs has also got a place chance, I think. Um, just a very big thank you to them for their support. They've given me a lot of horses. They, they're fantastic to have in the yard. They love coming to races, watching their horses run, having a bet. And um, I think they're all very cross with me because I told them, please just don't worry about backing her first time out. Just, you know, wait for her to go a distance. But um, I think they had a great time anyway. And, uh, yeah, thanks to Alec for a great ride. Well done. Thanks. Let's get Alec into the picture here. Yeah. Looked a little bit green around the turn and take it from there? Absolutely, Sheldon. She was a little bit, uh, a little bit slow at the gates and then she came out and she was tugging a bit and then she dropped it and then she picked it up again. She was, she was green and uh, we were wide and, and I, I didn't think I could win from there, you know. She was, she was just that doff. And we turned for home and I started asking her to quicken and she just did, you know. She lengthened that huge stride and slowly but surely she just overtook them. And uh, yeah, I think it was a win full of merit.
clear to see. The further she goes, the better she'll be. Absolutely. Once this filly goes 10 furlongs, uh, I think we'll have a nice filly on our hands. Well done, Alec. Thank you. Uh, well done to Lazan and, and well done to the owners. You know, they, uh, they're good supporters of ours and uh, I'm glad they had one. Well done. Let's get the winning connections in, dressed for the occasion. I had a chat to you earlier on this morning. You were lurking around. This must be very, very special to you. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, thanks to Lazan and Alec, uh, they've been putting up with us and we've been trying to chase them along with all our horses and, you know, today we've got three and it's fantastic. How many horses have you got in the yard with them? Uh, we've got six with her at the moment. And you've got nice runners on the day, so it's even better. It's fantastic. I mean, we had one on Saturday, one on Sunday, three today, so it's brilliant. You get some owners who come into the game for 10 years, they don't have a winner, so you're quite lucky at this early stage. Yeah, this is our second one. We had uh, McGockety win the other day as well, so, I mean, we, we're ecstatic. We're over the moon. Go enjoy the moment. Thanks, Sheldon. Cheers. Really well done to the connections. Number nine, Labilia, the daughter of Lion Tamer, just came roaring through that last 300 to finish for the victory.